Hello, my name is Simon. I'm 54, speaking to you from Truro in Cornwall. First, let me say thank you to you, Anna, for providing this platform for us all to express our views and hopefully change this mess we're in. Uh, where to start, really? Um, you know, for a couple of decades at least now, uh, I've been of the opinion that there was something very, very wrong with the human race. I think possibly the first time I noticed anything wrong was uh, as far back as Princess Diana's funeral, uh, the mass hysteria that took place after that, tens of thousands of people crying in the streets. And um, I was extremely disturbed by that and the implications for the future. Uh, a few years after that, I read 1984 by George Orwell, and I have to say I was blown away. I couldn't believe, really, that someone <laughs> writing as long ago as the late 40s could be so spot on in the way the human race would allow itself to be controlled by fear. Since then, I've been shocking people from time to time with my views, my very bleak view of the future of the human race. Now let's, up, let's hope that that isn't coming to pass right now. Uh, you know, if we go back five or six months to the start of, uh, of this uh, current term, um, whatever it is. You know, I mean, I shook my head in disbelief as I, as I, could, as I saw the panic taking hold. And, um, you know, the cynical way that the government just jumped on the bandwagon, pressed the fear button, as soon as it suited their ends, as soon as they decided on the action of the lockdown, which was always inev inevitable. You know, it was just panic. Or it, the, the mainstream media just completely complicit in the whole thing. They're a disgrace, frankly. I know. I mean, you know, they, they, the, the things like the clapping. I mean, the clap, the clapping had echoes of 1984 for me. There's, there's a, um, if you don't know it, there's, there's a part in that uh, where, on a daily basis, the, they are uh, the, uh, the people have to take part in something called the two minutes hate. In which case they, uh, in which they um, work themselves up into a frenzy against the the enemy, and it's not always the same enemy, but uh, but the same um, the, whoever that the the, uh, the powers that be, Big Brother, is putting forward as the uh, as the object to be hated, then uh, they do so for a couple of minutes, and then they go back to their daily chores. And uh, the call to to the uh, the people of this country once a week to indulge in this uh, pure old uh, two minutes. Uh, I mean, it, it was just a variation on that basically. And the whole lockdown, you know, the the, the way that the, uh, the 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 people didn't give a thought to the tens of thousands, millions of people whose homes are not places of safety. Um, you know. Within a week, we were hearing of um, domestic violence going up by 25%, a doubling of, uh, I think, of calls to child line in the first week. These were all inevitable. And then, of course, there is the economic cost, which is going to be massive. Um, the educational cost is, is unbelievable. People, I mean, the, the people are prepared to, to put up with um, their children staying out of school for months at a time. It, it's unbelievable. And then, uh, then there's you know the, the the psychological harm for people. I mean, thousands, millions of people who who are lonely, who live isolated lives. You know that that they're going to be. I mean, a lot of many of them may already have been succumbed to um, to suicide, maybe. But um, but it's just awful. It's absolutely awful. And awful what you know for a threat that really didn't even exist. You know, right from the start, it was obvious that it was nowhere near as big. As it was uh, being uh, made out to be, and then uh, you know, as well as that, is that, I mean, more probably more disgraceful than that really is is the is the the failure to treat almost anything else other than COVID by the hospitals. You know, I mean, the figures for for um, for for cancer tests not being done. Um, People with kidney failure, you know, getting getting their um, 
the dialysis cut and and, and hundreds possibly thousands of people have already probably had strokes and not gone to the doc not not been too frightened to go to the hospital about it um, a quite shocking state of affairs and, and for what I mean there is that there was never any proof that the lockdown was uh, was going to be the right way and um, you know there were plenty of people at the time saying that it wasn't I mean Sweden has been the only pretty much the only country the only major country to stand up and do things a different way but what has followed is even worse. The control is um, I mean, what we're what experiencing now. The the, the, the so-called new normal is, is frightening indeed. It really is a truly a truly bleak prospect. And um, you know that they don't. I mean, clearly the, the government don't believe it. I mean, three weeks before they announced that the mandatory mask wearing, they were telling one everyone who would listen that it was um, of no of little use whatsoever. You know. But it's all about control. It's all about that they've ramped up the fear. They can do pretty much what they like. And um, you know, the, obviously, the public was, was you know, uh, as as Orwell said, you know, you know, a frightened public will uh, will pretty much do whatever they're told to do. Um, that's pretty much it, really, for me. Um, I just want to add my voice, really, to uh, to the others on, on your channel. And say that if we do have any chance, um, which may be a very slim chance indeed, but if there's any at all, we have to be a united voice, a one that basically the uh, well, um, ha it has to be said, our sheep-like um, population right across the world, um, they have to hear a different voice. They have to they have to be basically following <laughs> a different voice. Or at least have the, the alternative, you know, given to them, um, so that um, maybe, maybe the numbers will start start to swing. You know, in our favour, uh, which will straight away um, make governments um, think about changing their course, because after all, governments are just interested in, in retention of power, very little else. Uh, that's about it um, and um, well let's just hope <laughs> okay thank you very much